So I thought I'd try and make a quick update on my flight sim, uh, just to share what is coming down the pipes for me. Uh, here's my existing setup, which I seldom get to fly. I haven't flown in quite some time. Uh, SciTech panel, SciTech yoke, uh, pedals, my FSX rig, quad core, I don't even remember the specs on that, but it's not that fantastic, subwoofer. Uh, one of my two touchscreen monitors, which I've uh, yet to unpack the second. Here's one of the iInc 16-inch screens that I've gone with for the MIP. Uh, three PCs that I've managed to big borrow, steal, and repair upcoming for uh, the panels. Uh, speaker stand for a yoke stand initially, and thanks to the great folks over at Hangar 45, this is the beginnings of the Learjet 45 cockpit. Uh, you'll see I've got the uh, SciTech rudder or uh, throttle quadrant initially, but uh, this is where it's come along to. Uh, yet to be primed there. Everything else is still sitting in primer. Glare shield and MIP, glare shield absent, it's out being primed in the garage. And this is what lives at the backside. The guts of the monitors, just temporarily mounted until I get everything sorted out in final locations and uh, hopefully get this thing in paint in the next little while. And yet again, thanks to uh, Ron over at Hangar 45, my box of oh goodies. Ron has graciously provided me backer panels such as these, and some fantastic fully assembled reversion panels. Uh, it will be hard to see, they will not do them justice I'm sure on this video, but uh, those both, uh, with a tiny bit of modification to the glare shield, fit beautifully and their fit, finish, and quality is second to none, in my opinion. Ron put me together a huge care package. I don't think we can even begin to go over them all, but basically this is a Lear 45 panel set and a box. Should keep me busy till doomsday putting switches in all of them. This is my most recent additions, AML switches. I got those from eBay. Uh, not exactly the switch that everybody's using, but I don't anticipate any issues. Again, from Ron as a complete kit, here are all the lenses lasered for every switch basically in the Lear and again this won't do it justice. Everything to get them all functional. These I had to order separate. I got them from online components. Uh, being in Canada I will not use them again. The duty charged at the door was more than the entire batch. I got 25 of each switch and those to start. Again, Ron over at Hangar 45's fastener kit, complete for all the backer panels. And this is kind of the end result when you put some pieces together, and I haven't painted that insert yet, but uh, in the uh, labels inverse, because the uh, protective coating you'll see that it's on each of these is uh, still in place, so the lens is mounted backwards. But this should keep me busy for quite a little while to put all that together. And in the end, I should end up with a fully functional Lear cockpit. That monitor over there will eventually uh, get disassembled once I'm done this PC testing and have all these up to scratch and live right behind there. Hopefully this weekend I can get the glare shield mounted and it'll begin looking uh, a lot like a Lear cockpit. Thanks for watching.